going on guys and uh welcome back to the channel um a little bit of a somber mood out here on Abernathy farms and uh i'll let you know what's going on so tuesday uh around 6 30 me and my daughter came out to uh check the cows move them move them to a different paddock um i've been irrigating the fields i've made that decision grass is not growing we haven't had any significant rain in several weeks and the uh fields don't look don't look that good i've been feeding them hay so anyway, we came out here Tuesday, and we called the cows up, and they, they all came but one. I fed them some grain, and then I told my daughter, we got to go down and check on this cow, see why it didn't come up. Uh, we walked down there. I noticed there was some uh, blood coming from the backside, and as I got closer, we saw that there was a very small calf, and it was still alive. Uh, this is... Uh, a minimum five weeks early that's assuming she got bred on the day we put the bull in there so it was june 21st we put the bull in october 17th and 283 days from october 17th is july 27th so at a minimum this calf is five weeks early probably more like six weeks early but anyway he was alive so we had some colostrum replacement and we brought him up here carried him he weighed about 25 pounds uh, my dad, who's 70 years old and grew up out here on the farm, said that was the smallest calf he'd ever seen. We gave it some colostrum replacement, brought it up here to the barn lot. Mama followed him. She was, she was a good mama. Uh, and, I, you know, I told my daughter at the time, I was like, I don't, I don't like his chances of survival, but we're, we're going to do everything we can. He's our first calf out here. Um, so that night, I came out and checked on him periodically throughout the night, and, and he was moving he was never in the same spot so the next day we, we picked him up and put him in here with the stall with his mama he was trying to suckle the next day we fed him some more colostrum and we stood him up and if you stood him up he'd stand up and he walked over to his mom and he tried to he tried to suckle i don't know if she was giving any milk or not so also about that time i noticed his eyes were cloudy so i talked to the vet um and she told me to Get some LA 200, which is uh, oxytetracycline, I think, which is an antibiotic to help fight eye infections. I'm not 100% sure that he had an eye infection or if he was in fact blind. Um, so over the course of the next couple days, he that was like two days later, and he seemed to start feeling better that day. And on Friday, he seemed to be in worse shape he wouldn't stand up i came out here late friday evening to try to feed him but this time i'd switched over to the cow milk replacer and uh, i'm looking at the cows they're trying to come up anyway at that point i noticed that his left front leg was broken i'm assuming his mother stepped on him and that and the guy i farm with have got us second guessing whether we should have left him out here with his mother or separated him. I don't think he was suckling. I don't think he was strong enough. He tried a couple times. Long story short, we, we made the decision to put him down. Uh, his left front leg was, was broke completely in two. You could, you could feel the bone when you, when you did. So um, we didn't, you know, it's not something we wanted to do. I, I wanted to give him a chance, you know, and so this is a this is a uh, heavy learning curve for me. I grew up on a farm, but I was never really involved in the calving, and you know my uncle took care of all that. I was I was like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so I really would just milk cows and, and leave. And uh, so this has been a, a definite learning curve. The mother is fine; she 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 never seemed to have any problems. Um, so. I'm going to include some footage at the end of this video of us finding the calf and you know it is what it is growing up on a farm it just it is what it is so you can continue to watch and and see a little bit of what we had going on so we come down we come out to check the cows my daughter's with me and one of them didn't come up and she's had a calf.
He's very small. He's very premature. Very small. Okay, we're gonna let him alone. He's breathing, his eyes are open. Uh, I might call the vet, see if we need to do anything. Uh, let's get out of here. It's okay, mama. I know. Good yeah, girl. That's a good sign. He is little. Good girl. She's a good one. Morning, guys. It's the next day. This calf is uh, still alive. I figured it was born about uh, 4 or 5 o'clock yesterday. Uh, it is suckling. I've been feeding it some colostrum replacement. It has moved around a lot overnight, but I have not seen it get up and I have not seen it stand. So I'm gonna feed it some colostrum here and I'm gonna call the vet. I stood her up, she's walking. She wants to go to mama. Looky there. Looky there. She's got a long way to go, but definitely uh, a hopeful sign. Snuck around to the other side of the barn. She's close. I don't know if she's got on the one or not. And I don't know if the mama's ready because she's so early. That is a very encouraging sign. Well, we brought the little guy into the shade in here in the stall. I'm hoping his mama's going to come in here. She's on the other side of the barn. He was out in the sun, he was breathing hard. We tried to give him some more uh, colostrum. Uh, he's got a little bit of energy, but he didn't act like he wanted any. So we're gonna leave him in here and uh, hopefully his mama will come in here. And Mama's right there. Mama's and we'll, right there. Uh, we'll get out here and see if she'll come in here. 